Okay, this is the uh, Kenwood TS590S. Okay, I tell my camera person thrilled by that. And uh, all right, I'm going to open the box. Let's see what's in it. Okay. It's apparently a very good radio. So, what do you find when you open the box? Another box. Okay. Very good. Right, well, we'll get rid of the outer box. Looks like those Russian dolls. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Big thick manual. Goodness me. I don't know what's involved in that. Let's have a look. Uh, instruction manual. Instruction manual. Schematic diagram. Oh, good. That's, uh, a lot of them don't do that these days. So there's uh, full on schematics of the entire circuit. If you want to get into fixing it or whatever, and uh, manual in French. You don't need that one. Subu play. Now, got a little box in here. It's just got all sorts of goodies in it. Uh, I don't know what they're for, but we'll look at those later. Little stickers of some sort. Screws, which must be for obviously mounting it or something. Uh, in and out connectors for the accessory connectors and spare fuses on the back. And I've got power cable, nice meaty power cable there. Um, fused power cable, as you'd expect. It's interesting, it's got the smaller connector on it, like um, the sort of two and seventy radios have. It doesn't have um, um, it doesn't have the big meaty type connectors like the icons etc have the big ones. Never mind. And what else have we got? Microphone. This is a standard Kenwood microphone. Um, being an HF radio, it's obviously not that important that uh, you can tilt the camera up. Uh, it's not that important. <laughs> My cameraman's telling me I'm going up too high. It's not that important, of course, that it has DTMF or anything like that. But there you go. There's um the normal microphone and up and down on the top. So that's that. I'll put all this stuff. I still don't know what those stickers are for, but uh, I'm sure the instructions will explain it. Uh, and then the radio itself. I'll get this out of the box. Um, it's quite heavy. It's probably, goodness, it's actually, I'm guessing, I'd say that's probably at least maybe 10 kilos. It's quite heavy. Um, which means it's obviously uh, fairly well built, you'd hope. I assume there's no bricks in it. Um, so, just the front of it. Uh, looks very nice. Uh, it's got a handle on it. So unlike Icom, they don't actually charge you $40 extra for a handle. Uh, and the back of it, there's the back of it there. Two antenna connections which are switchable via the menu. Uh, power input, uh, antenna tuner connector, um, I assume that's what it is, but you don't need one because it's got its own tuner built in. A D9 connector there, or a uh, USB connector. The USB connector is good because you can actually remote, remotely use this radio, including feeding the, feeding the audio over the net as well. Um, there's free software you can get from the Kenwood site. You connect that to your computer and you can use this radio from anywhere in the world. Um, it streams the audio and remotely controls it. Two accessory ports here. Um, accessory ports for uh, SSTV or whatever you want to plug into it. Uh, paddle connector, key connector, driver connector if you want to run an external amp. Um, and an RX antenna only connection there. So there's the back of it. All in all, it's extremely well built. <laughs> it uh, certainly is no, uh, is no lightweight. Um, the VFO has a nice feel to it too, and uh, all in all, that's the new uh, the new Kenwood TS590. It certainly, as I said, has a very nice feel to it, um, and is uh, not it doesn't have the feel of a uh, of, of a cheap and nasty radio. So, if I slide that down. That is, uh, is my unboxing of the new Kenwood 590S. 
comes with all the stuff you'd expect. Spare fuses. Uh, interesting that they use the little car fuses now, the flat ones, as opposed to uh, uh, the glass fuses. And uh, they also, as I said, use a little, use the smaller powered connector, the sort which I'm more used to on uh, 2 and 70 type radios. Um, but uh, not that that really matters. It's a bit annoying in a way because it means now I need two power connectors. Uh, I've got a 706 ICOM as well, so now I need to take two power cables. But uh, apart from that, I'll put more reviews up on the radio on YouTube um, as I get time to play with it. So um, I also bought a Hale headset as well, which I'll grab. Uh, built in the US. Uh, I've got the red cable, which is uh, red is the Kenwood cable, of course, that plugs into the mic cable. It's got a, a headphone socket on it, obviously, uh, and also it has a remote control. Um, I've bought today a little 3.5mm plug and a switch, which means I'll be able to remote key it if I don't want to use the box. The headset um, is very nice. It's got a nice feel to it. Uh, it's got removable uh, ear pads. Um, I can take those off. I don't need to use those because there are leather pads in there. But these are good so your ears don't get sweaty um, and you can wash them. There's even a phase reverse switch um, if some radios um, get things a bit back to front on one channel. But um, nice boom mic with adjustable. This is the HC5 Hale and I'll put them on. Yeah, very comfortable. You could, uh, you could wear those all day. That, that's no, no problem at all. And apparently they have very nice sound. So um, there you go. Um, that's the ProSet headset and the Kenwood uh, TS590S which apparently is uh, an excellent radio and I'll let you know in the next few days um, uh, after I've gone outside and had a play with it on HF. So uh, until then, I'll uh, catch up with you later. Do you like the new radio too, do you? <laughs> <laughs>